Today we're going to be building a trading strategy with Victor Candles. So let's get straight to it. Hey traders, I hope you're going extremely well. My name is David and welcome to my channel where I go through trading strategies that I find on YouTube and on the web and then I use code to debunk the bad ones and find the good ones. Today we're going to be going through a trading strategy which was presented to me by a member of my Discord. Uh, his name was Oli and I thank him very very much for all of the information that he's been sending me. It's a trading strategy which is adapted very well to the smart money concepts which I've been exploring in the past couple of weeks and it uses Vector Candles. Now Vector Candles are candles that are large candles uh, which are supported by volume in the algorithm and the idea behind the trading strategy is very much like the uh, smart money concepts we're looking for candles which could predict uh, a movement from larger so vector candles are large candles with larger support of volume over the average so what we're doing is we're going to be trying to predict when large companies or banks hedge funds or the composite man are entering the market to push it either in one direction or the other so I guess the best idea is to get over to my computer, I'll explain what's behind the candles and what the actual theory behind these candles are, and then I'll go and code it so that we can back test it and try and make a good trading strategy out of that uh, those values. Right, okay, let's get over to my computer. But before I go, as always, if you do enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a good old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I do videos every Tuesday and Friday at the moment. Normally it's Monday and Friday, but for the holiday periods, I'm gonna be doing Tuesday and Friday. Okay, let's get over to my computer. Right, here we are on Trading View where I'm going to be building the strategy. Uh, first things first, I'm going to explain a couple of bits about the actual trading strategy. Now, the trading strategy that I've, uh, been, I'm going to be backtesting today is based on this YouTuber's channel, which is Traders Reality. I am part of his Discord. He has a lot of great information about this trading strategy. So if you are interested, please go and have a look at his YouTube channel. Obviously, watch my video first. Okay, so I'm here on Trading View without any indicators on the chart. Okay, so to add the indicators that we need, we're going to have to go up to indicators up here and we're going to search for PVSRA. And we're going to be adding the second one here, which is the PVSRA volume. Uh, I'm going to be adding that to my charts. And the second one that I'm going to be adding to my charts is Traders Realities Indicator as well, which is this one here, Reality Traders Reality Indicator. Now I'm going to go and add that to my charts. I've actually already added it because I've uh, removed a couple of things off of it myself, which I'm going to show you now. Okay, so we have the two indicators on our charts. As you can see, the PVSRA is very much a volume uh, added to your chart. Uh, with red and pink candles marking over the average size candles and then if you look over on the, the traders reality I've gone to the cog up here and I have removed quite a bit I've removed the 5 EMA the 13 EMA the 200 EMA and it's left us with the 50 EMA uh, the 800 EMA the 50 EMA upper and lower cloud now that's given us this purple here and these two blue lines uh, so what the idea is is we're actually looking for entries where we're above the 800 EMA which is this blue line here. We have to also be above the purple cloud, which is the 50, uh, 50 EMA cloud. Now this cloud is quite interesting. Uh, this one here, this purple cloud here, is quite interesting because it's a standard deviation of this EMA, which has created a cloud, which is quite interesting uh, as an algorithm. So uh, certainly is worth reading about if you are interested in those kind of things. And then what we're gonna be doing is once we're above the 800 EMA and the cloud or coming out of that cloud, we're looking for a blue candle like this one here. Now these candles, as I said, are uh, volume candles marked blue and green when their average is above average looking back on 10 candles to see if they're above average on the 10 candles and then these red and fuchsia color pink colors out here are uh, obviously bearish candles so we're going to be looking for that so let's have a look at some of the rules that i've put just down here and this is the trading strategy that i'm going to be coding today i will also offer a lot more alternatives to these entries inside the trading strategy which you can download on trading view itself so the long entries are going to be above the 800 EMA. We're gonna be above the purple cloud here, which is the 50 EMA. We're looking for a blue or green uh, candle. So we're looking for one like this here or this here to get high entries. And our uh, stop loss will be, uh, our, will be the lower band of the cloud. And we're looking for a risk to reward of three. 
Now, as I said, always I am cherry picking, but I'm going to be adding an entry here to show you. Our first entry here would be this blue candle as we are above this. We've crossed above the uh, EMA. We've crossed above this purple cloud, uh, cloud, 50 EMA cloud. The blue candle is also above the uh, 800 EMA, so we would have an entry just here. We're going to set our stop loss like that. And then we're looking for a 3 to 1 risk to reward, which this one just about made it which is fantastic. So that would have been the entry. As you can see, that would have made us a 4% win and our risk would have been 1.35. Now we're looking for a short, which the first short would be this one here. Now the problem with this short is we are quite far away from the actual cloud itself. We are 1.5, maybe 1.6 away from it. Not sure this one's going to work out as well, but we're going to keep going, trying. Now this one obviously would have been a loss, uh, but the good thing about the actual trading strategy is, is we could have got out here as we've crossed above the, uh, the purple cloud again. Uh, that's going to be something that I'm coding into the strategy itself so that we can exit if we uh, push ourselves back up against this purple cloud again. As you can see, there's quite a few entries. There's purple and uh, blue. Uh, there's blue and purple candles all over the place. So it could turn out to be quite a good trading strategy. As I said, the rules are here. As you can see, if you'd like to pause the video, you'll be able to see the rules. I'm going to go away and code this so that we can uh, back test it and see if we can find some good results. Okay, let's get coding. Come on, David. Once again, he's gone to code a new strategy. He'll be back in just five minutes. RSI and MACD. If he doesn't run into any bugs, there will be a new strategy. Come on, David. Hurry up. Come on, David. Show us what you got. Come on, David. Our patience running out. Come on, David. Okay, here we are on my computer with the latest David Tick strategy, uh, which is uh, the Victor, obviously the Victor candles that we were trying to backtest. Right, so as you can see, we have some absolutely fantastic entries here and some losses, etc. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the uh, trading strategy backtester uh, very, very quickly, and then I'll go through some of the improvements that I've found. Uh, like I said, this is very much the start of this trading strategy. I would like to take it further and make it better as we go along. Uh, so I have a uh, have as I said entries on the candles if you go over to the settings panel here you can choose whether you get entries on if I go all the way down it's quite far down here if you go here you can find out uh, you can choose whether your entries are done on the green or the red candles or the blue or the fuchsia candles uh, you can also exit I've put the word enter here we will say exit before I release this uh, obviously you can exit as well or you can reverse the entries or you can also uh, add the colors and all of that you can add lots of great uh, extra confluence and things like that, that we're going to be looking at in a minute but on the current default settings as you can see we have a win rate at 48 uh, percent we had max win uh, wins in a row of five max losses in a row of seven uh, total wins was 109 total losses was 117 uh, total number of trades was 226 which is absolutely fantastic because it gives us a large number of uh, trades to look back at and try and uh, filter the bad ones out i'm currently on the 15 minute on btc usdt on the bybit chart uh, let's have a look at the test uh, results the equity curve very quickly as you can see it's pretty jagged uh, it's not a great equity curve in the slightest we have a net profit of 66 percent which is good considering how bad bitcoin has dumped recently if i go over to the performance summaries the buy to hold ratio is currently uh, at minus 58 percent so uh yeah not great at all uh if you would have taken out the longs here obviously you would have had a much better win rate uh, by just literally uh adapting your bot to only take long uh, only shorts at the moment i guess uh so right let's have a look at some of the improvements that i've done uh last thing i'll do is i'll go very very quickly over to the list so that everybody can see which was the first trade obviously that it's going to be the same for the better options as well uh, the first trade was on the 21st of the 12th, 09, so about eight months ago. So great. So that's our trading strategy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the improvements that I've made on this one over here. If we go to Victor Candles and show you the improvements, I'm going to remove all of the other ones here. 
Okay, as you can see, the equity curve on this one looks a lot, lot better, and I haven't actually changed much itself. Let's go over to the settings and have a look at what I've changed and add as extra confluence. Okay, so I've used exactly the same uh, entries and exits. Uh, if I go all the way down to the bottom over here, I have added a couple of uh, extra confluence indicators to filter out the bad trades. Uh, I have added my flat market indicator, which is on an EMA of 50. The flat market indicator was something that I made a long time ago and has proven to be a very good indicator. Uh, that filtered out quite a few bad uh, trades and then i also turned off the saturday and sunday now this makes quite a bit of difference on lots of trading uh, strategies as uh, obviously volume is quite low over the weekends and takes away some of that profit uh, if i add it back on as you can see it's given us an extra giving us an extra 30 percent but we've actually removed one percent so it's up to you i guess whether you want to trade on saturday and sunday maybe saturday would be better and sunday or just for you guys to test on this trading strategy uh, and that was it i have actually also added the bull bear power which is a great indicator that i discovered recently uh, and that that length is on 13 that's helped us to remove quite a few bad trades i often add the adx but unfortunately that did remove way too many trades uh, for in my liking so we've ended up with this trading strategy which given us a net profit of 140 percent like i said that's absolutely amazing considering how bad the market is at the moment with a buy to hold return of minus 58 percent uh, we have a total number of trades of 69 which isn't a huge pool of trades for back testing but we can use the deep back tester to look a bit further back okay we have a uh, a win rate of 60 percent here almost 61 percent profit factor of two which is absolutely great we have a quite low uh drop max drawdown of 10 percent which is good as well uh, if we go over to the summary here we'll have a look at the sharp ratio sort of no ratio hasn't been worked out on trading view recently our sharp ratio is a bit low at 0 .0, 0 0.88, bit low for my liking. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to continue uh, improving on this trading strategy. Uh, now, if I take these results and go over to Joel on Crypto's win rate IO and put in uh, the percentages that I've used for the trading strategy. Okay, so if I emulate the trading strategy uh, as it is at the moment, uh, with the win, uh, take profit and stop loss on this website, it does a random walk for us uh, to see whether the trading strategy would continue to be profitable in all situations. We're going to put the leverage at 20 and we'll try playing around with the leverage as well. We've set it all up ready to go. We have a win rate of 60% and the, uh, net profit, the take profit and stop loss as I've set inside the trading strategy. And as you can see, with 100 trades, it stays extremely, extremely profitable. Uh, ranging between 5,000 and 10,000 net profit. Uh, if I take that up to 60, uh, 30 uh, leverage, I think that will make it a little bit more unstable. Yeah, as you can see, not so good at that leverage. Uh, we do dip quite a lot on the net profit in some occasions. So this tool I absolutely always use to see if uh, it, like I said, it does a random walk or random sort of uh, random trades uh, of, uh, set up to see if it continues to stay profitable uh, which i think is a good way of uh, testing your trading strategy you can also integrate all of these trading strategies using the endless margin bot which is made for david tech here using this area here so you can emulate it using the test net on bybit and then after testing obviously you'll be able to create into a real bot so that's great like i said we've now tested the trading strategy on two platforms it seems quite good the back testers uh, seems quite good i'm going to take this one a little bit further over the next couple of weeks to see if we can improve on it find better confluence with some other smart money concepts uh, maybe add the abc uh, i'm going to ask oliver or ollie sorry uh, to help me uh, because he's been uh, trading this for quite a while if you do have any ideas that you want to share about this trading strategy please don't hesitate to come in discord and uh, chat with us and i will try to integrate those ideas into the strategy you can add this trading strategy to your trading view the links to patreon are down in the description okay guys that's all from me today i will see you at the end of the week on friday take care keep safe keep coding trade like a boss and i'll see you on friday goodbye <laughs>